hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel well on today's video we'll be looking at construction of different kinds of gear and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel ring the bell to get notified when i post new and exciting videos all right let's get drawing okay guys so we are asked to draw a gear having number of 36 30 teeth with model of 6 millimeter and we're giving the pressure angle to be equal to 20 degrees all right so we're giving all right so to draw this gear we will need all these parameters okay now the first thing we will need is our pitch circle diameter and the formula for pitch circle diameter is model times number of teeth so our pitch circle diameter is equal to model times number of teeth which is equal to our model is 6 number of teeth is 30 which gives us 180 millimeter then our circular pitch the formula is pi times our model which is pi times 6 which gives us 18.8 millimeter okay our addendum which is formula 0 0.31835 times circular pitch so we have 0 0.8 0 0.31835 times 18.8 give us 6.0 millimeter mm -hmm. then for our addendum circle diameter addendum circle diameter we have pitch circle diameter plus 2 times addendum mm -hmm. which is 180 plus 2 times 6 to give us 192 millimeter for our clearance we have circular pitch divided by 20 which give us 18.8 divided by 20 which give us 0 0.94 millimeter for our didn't zoom we have it to be equal to addend zoom plus clearance and our addend zoom is six okay and our clearance is 0 0.94 so six plus 0 0.94 give us 6.94 for our didn't zoom circle diameter we have pitch circle diameter minus two times the zoom remember for adding circle diameter we have Pitch circle diameter plus 2 times addendum, but at this point it is minus 2 times addendum, which gives us 180, okay, 180 minus 2 times addendum, which is 6.94. It gave me 166.12 millimeter. And then finally, our tooth thickness is equal to circular pitch divided by 2, which is 118.8 divided by 2, which gives us 9.4. Now, with all these parameters, we can draw. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is that from our calculations, the first thing we join is our pitch circle diameter, which is 180. Now, this is the diameter. I'm going to draw a circle. We need to get the radius. 180 divided by 2 will give us the radius, which will give me 90 millimeter. So, we're going to use 90 millimeter as the radius for our pitch circle diameter. So, I'll measure 90. That is 9 centimeter, okay? All right, now please on my drawing sheets. Now draw a circle. Okay, so endeavor to put something under your drawing paper so that so avoid here from getting torn. Okay, so after after drawing this circle, I'm gonna center point and now I'll draw a straight line. Okay. All right. I haven't drawn this straight line. Now, on this point, we're giving our pressure angle to be 20 degrees, okay? So, on this point, I'm going to measure 20 degrees. I'll place it here straight. So, this is 20 degrees, okay? And then, I'll draw it to pass through this point. Okay, so having drawn this line, I'll place again in this middle point straight. Okay, and this is I'll go under 20 degrees. So this is 90, this is 81, this is 10 degrees, 20 degrees. And I'll join. Okay, now where this line touches this line, I'll mark that point. I'll pin my compass here 
and get to this point and draw a circle. Okay, next, we want to draw our dead end zone, but we must draw dead end zone with our dead end zone circle diameter, which we have is to be one as the six point one two. So to get the radius, I'm going to divide it by two. This will give me. It will give me. 83.06 okay 83.06 so which is approximately 83 as 8.3 so i'll measure 8.3 and then i'll pin at the center point okay so next thing we'll draw our adam zoom adam zoom okay or we'll measure adam zoom with adam zoom circle diameter which is 192 so to get the radius divided by 2 which will give you 96 so I'll measure 96. 96. I'll pin here and draw 96. Okay. So this is our addendum. This is our PCD. This is P circle diameter. This is our base circle. That will give it our pressure angle. And this is our addendum. All right. Now let's have one of this that we are gonna look at our tooth thickness, which is nine point four. Since it's not a diameter, so we're gonna use nine point four. Okay, that is zero point nine four. This is zero point nine. Zero point nine. So after measuring zero point nine four, okay. <laughs> Okay, so after measuring it, I'll place it here. Now I'll, I'll start cutting equal distances. Okay, now I'm gonna do this round the whole circle to give me an ever measurement. Please, after doing this, you must have at least 60 different divisions. Okay, because I'm drawing 30 teeth, so you're gonna, you, you ought to have at least 50 divisions. Okay, so because of time, I will not continue doing, I will just do some basics. So, I've done divisions, okay? All these divisions, all these points. Yeah, divisions. Okay, using the value power to, to the thickness. Okay, so after this, and this is what I'm, I'm going to do. From this point, I will skip here, okay? To the next one. I will skip this first one. I enter the next one here. Okay? And then I'll draw this. Think again. To respond. Okay. 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 And then I'll do something for this part from here. Now for this part, I'll pin here, then I'll get here. I will skip one, okay? These are the points I marked. So I'll skip one and to the next one. Now I'll pin here, okay? Okay, now from this point, okay, now remember I did it this way, now I'll come this way. Okay, from one, two, three, four. On the first one here, I'll pin it here, okay, this part here, and then I'll do this. Let it here. Uh, for this part, okay, I'll come somewhere here. I can start from here or any point towards the center.
Okay, so what next? I'll open at the center point, okay? Again. And I'll bring it to this place. I mean, I'll take in the base. At this distance here. Okay. Take in this part. Take in this part. Take in this part. Okay. <laughs> so I bring it up here, okay? Um taking this part. Alright, so um I'm done. So I just did I'm taking in this part, okay? And because of time, I won't continue for the rest of it. But the question actually tells us to continue this stuff. Repeat it to the same pattern. Repeat it for the other parts of this diagram, okay? Alright, so this is how you would draw a gear with a specific amount of seats. Alright, thank you guys. And see you in the next video. Don't forget to ask me a question on the comment section of this video. And please tell me the next video you'd like me to upload. Alright, see you in the next episode.